Ford was expected to do this for quite a long time. Um, they're laying off 7,000 white collar workers. They've been in the process of doing it, but um, the fourth and final wave is coming uh, this week. Um, most of the 7,000 workers will be overseas and not in the United States, but they've done, uh, they'll do about 2,300, uh, mainly in the Detroit area. About 1,500 of them have already taken, either left voluntarily or taken buyouts, uh, and then 300 have been laid off so far. The other 500 uh, are going to get the news uh, this week, which is not, uh, not a good thing. A lot of uh, employees are on uh, edge uh, waiting for the news, which could come starting tomorrow. They're trying to restructure and resize their business so they're more competitive. They have a lot of capital needs. Uh, they have to pay for autonomous and electric vehicle research and other mobility uh, in addition to uh, the millions of dollars that they normally spend updating their, prod their normal products. Um, all of that puts a big strain on capital dollars and uh, so they're trying to get the company smaller so they're able to do that. They say they'll save about $600 million a year. This is kind of uncharacteristic for the auto industry. Usually they wait until the last minute or until after the problem uh, needs to be solved before they take these kinds of actions. Um, I think fresh in their minds uh, are 2008 and 2009 when the economy went into tank and um, you know, GM and Chrysler went into bankruptcy and Ford narrowly avoided it by taking out a big loan. I don't think anybody wants to go back to those days, so they want to be smaller, so just in case there's a downturn and they have all these capital needs that they'll be able to handle it all.